Our quarry seems to have little regard for the rules of traffic safety, Michael. Good thing Bonnie installed that electrical power steering doo-wacky. My experimental automatic electro-hydraulic power steering mechanism is not a doo-wacky. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? We really need another TV. There was a new episode of Novo on tonight. It'll be worth it, babe. Just wait for the turbo boost. A chicken, Michael. Why didn't you say so? Can your turbo boost get us over that poultry truck, buddy? I have insufficient data with which to calculate an estimate. Then there's only one way to find out. Here it comes. <laughs> Motherfucker! Is everything okay? Yes. No, baby, everything's not okay. I miss my favorite part. If I were talking to you, why would I have yelled? What do you think it was? I don't know, but it sucks. I was right in the middle of something. Say no more. No, it wasn't like that this time. Well, Michael, not only did you and Kit accomplish your mission by executing the most spectacular turbo boost jump ever seen, ah, but you were also kind enough to bring me this delectable chicken dinner. Tell me, where did you get it? Do you want to tell him, buddy? Why ask me to do it, Michael? Are you chicken? <laughs> How much longer are you going to be? I don't know. I'm doing some very important research. Well, I need the computer for something very important, too. Use the laptop. The laptop won't even boot. Well, whose fault is that? Yours. It's been choked with malware since you downloaded that stupid torrent. It said it was a DVD-quality collection of every episode of Kung Fu The Legend Continues. What was I supposed to do? Not click the link? My computer was exporting a video. You could have waited until the video was done exporting and then Suck a dick! Would have been a lot better if we didn't miss the turbo boost. I'm sorry it took me so long to get in touch with you. I wanted us to talk a few days ago, but my computer was... unavailable. I'm glad you called. I've just... I don't know. Lately I've just felt like it would be easier if one day I just went to sleep and never woke up. Listen, I'm going to give you my cell number, and if you ever start having these thoughts, I want you to call me right away. And if you need me to jump online so we can talk face to face, we can do that too. Okay. Thank you, Steffi. I don't want you to do something that you won't be able to take back. I'll always be here for you when you need to talk. We really need to talk. Don't you have something to say to me? Sorry for screaming at you to suck a dick. Cutting me off like that is totally this is unacceptable. Stuffy. Whatever you want to talk about can't possibly be as important as the conversation you just interrupted. I think 9 11 was an inside job. I'm going to call my friend back. How can you just turn a blind eye to this? To think that our government may have perpetrated the most stupendous act of mass murder ever. And you know that isn't true. You've written blog articles. You've produced videos about the 9-11 truth movement, mocking them and calling them out on their silly arguments. Yeah, but that was before I saw the evidence. <sighs> Are we really going to do this? Okay. What evidence? Oh, no, no, no. That's one of the tricks you shills for the OCT like to pull, shifting the burden of proof. What in the world are you talking about? The OCT? The, uh, the official conspiracy theory. Anyway, what evidence do you have that 9-11 wasn't an inside job? Here's what we'll do. I'll tell you step by step what I think happened on 9-11, and then you tell me step by step what you think happened. Then we'll have two theories, two narratives we can compare and argue about. Does that sound good to you? Yes, I think that's fair. Do you think that's fair? All except for the part where my friend who you cut off might kill himself. Great. Go ahead. <sighs> Between
between 8 and 9.30 a.m. on the morning of September 11, 2001, four commercial airliners scheduled to fly from the East Coast to the West Coast were hijacked by a total of 19 members of Al-Qaeda, a radical Islamic terrorist organization founded and led by Osama bin Laden. The hijackers had arrived in the U.S. beginning in January 46 American Airlines Flight 11, which had been hijacked by a five-man team led by Mohammed Atta and which was carrying 87 passengers and crew members, crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City at a speed of nearly 500 miles per hour, impacting between the 93rd and 99th floors of American the Airlines Flight 175, which was traveling at almost 600 miles per hour into the, the South F-15s Tower, of the which World had been Trade. scrambled to intercept Flight 11 and then sent to military airspace over Long Island when they were unable to establish an intercept vector are ordered to leave military airspace in American Airlines Flight 77 flew into the side aboard the hijacked United Airlines Flight 93 charged the cockpit and attempt to regain control of the plane. At 10.03, the plane crashes into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, traveling at over 580 miles per hour. On the upper floors of the South Tower inform 911 dispatchers that floors beneath them have collapsed. At 9.59, the South Tower collapses. Less than 30 minutes later, the North Tower collapses as well. Fires burning since the plane crashes had weakened the steel support structures, causing floors to sag, which pulled the perimeter support columns inward and eventually made them unable to support the weight of the building, to leading the to progress. Dozens collapse. of people trapped on the upper floors of the tower by the fires jumped to their death. No one in the towers above the impact the collapsing zones towers survived. damaged many surrounding buildings, including World Trade Center 7, which suffered significant structural damage to its south face and southeast corner. Fires burned out of control until 5.20 p.m. when Building 7, Total from the crashed collapsed. airplanes to the collapsed towers to those killed at the Pentagon, almost 3,000 people were killed. <sighs> And that is what happened on September 11, 2001. Wow, all of that was just off the top of your head? I have the memory of a plush elephant. So, your turn. Okay, first of all, how did only a few guys per plane manage to take control of commercial airliners carrying dozens of passengers and crew using only knives and box cutters and and how do we even know there were even passengers on those planes to begin with i mean sure some of them called loved ones on cell phones but cell phones didn't work on airplanes in 2001 the and another thing probably how did those controlled i mean why else would they not have found any human remains controlled demolition firefighters in the lobby of the towers before they collapsed said they heard the explosions are you calling those firefighters liars they aren't liars their hero is just a coincidence that george bush's cousin was was in charge of security. Silverstein admitted it. He used the phrase, pull it. Well, How much more evidence do you No need? plane hit Building 7. And no plane hit the Pentagon either. Did you see the size of that hole? Way too small. What and why wasn't there any wreckage? Northwoods? Are you done? Is that it? Yes, that's it. Can I ask one question? Sure. What do you think happened on September 11, 2001? I just told you. No, you didn't. All you did was contradict what I said. I don't understand the difference. Well, you need to because it's very important. I just told you what happened on 9-11. I gave you the narrative of that day as accepted by pretty much everybody but the relative few who are a part of the 9-11 truth movement. It was a step-by-step -step account explaining who did what and when, what happened and why. Instead of presenting an alternative, all you did was go back through my narrative and say, oh, this couldn't have happened or that couldn't have happened. Even if all your objections were legitimate, and none of them are for your information, you would still have to construct a reasonable alternative scenario that explains what happened, accounting for the known facts of the event at least as well as what I said does. Otherwise, you're doing the exact same thing that creationists do when they argue against the theory of evolution, trying to chip away at a very well-supported, widely accepted theory instead of offering your own. 
But I can't tell you step by step what happened because of the cover up. Maybe if there were a proper investigation, I could. There was a proper investigation. Oh, so you believe the 9 11 Commission report? You just believe everything the government tells you, huh? Wake up, Stuffy. Even if you throw out the 9-11 Commission report, you've still got the investigations conducted by the U.S. House and Senate, the FBI, the CIA, and other intelligence agencies, the FAA, FEMA, NIST, the police and fire departments in New York City, the New York Times, and who knows how many other media outlets to contend with, not to mention the many investigations that have explored the dubious claims of truthers about things like molten steel or thermite traces being found in the rubble or the physics of the tower collapses suggesting a controlled demolition and debunked every single one it's been investigated we know what happened to those planes and the people aboard them we know why the towers fell all another investigation would do is give truthers one more thing to sneer at no matter how thorough it is, no matter how independent and transparent its process is, if it comes back with findings that contradict their dogmatically held conspiracy theories, they'll reject it just like they rejected the other investigations, just like the birthers rejected President Obama's birth certificate, just like moon landing deniers reject all the evidence for those events, just like every conspiracy theorist has ever reacted to anything that challenges his deluded beliefs. And for someone who can't even articulate what supposedly really happened that day, to regard everyone outside of his paranoid coterie as either naive or a shill is insulting and incredibly condescending. Well, Stuffy... You tell me I need to wake up. You imply that I'm not skeptical, that I'm not critical, that I just swallow whatever I'm fed. And you come in here with nothing, absolutely nothing, other than a tangle of misinformation and suspicious insinuations and fallacious arguments expecting to convince me that I'm the idiot here? You show your ignorance, my friend. You show your pathetic, flailing, clueless ignorance. I th what you need to do is get back on that computer and do some legitimate research. No more info wars. No more loose chains. No more of that truth or garbage. Read some truth or debunking websites. Read some unbiased sources. Read that Popular Mechanics article from like five years ago that systematically destroys the claims of the truth movement. I just... Go. Right now. Okay. Well? You were right. I don't know how I could ever have been so convinced by that stuff. I feel like such a fool. Well, don't be too hard on yourself. You were only a truther for ten minutes. I guess. I am trying to make up for it, though. I just went on the forum of this truther website and posted this really thorough, fully sourced refutation of all of their major points. The controlled demolition, the missile that supposedly hit the Pentagon, the connection with Operation Northwoods, I tore it all apart. You were busy for those seven seconds. And what did the truthers say? They called me a Jew. How's your friend? He's dead. <laughs>